Why is a rhyming word beginning with H put before another word to create a new term? I recently learned a new phrase, Herba Kirby, which is regionalism from the Kalamazoo, Michigan area for a wheeled trash bin placed at the curb for trash collection. I found several uses of the phrase. In planning commission minutes for a nearby township. Mr. Hill also said the best way disposal was going to supply one Herba Kirby for each office site, which meant that there would be four Herba Kirby's within the garbage enclosure. In a blog post by someone from Kalamazoo. As long as the bed gets made, the checkbook is balanced, the muffin tin is clean and the Herbie Kirby is wheeled to the curb before 7am on Friday, how important is it in the long run to disagree about how it got done? This regionalism is probably from a product name, Herbie Kirby. Since encountering Herbie Kirby, I've also seen Herky Jerky, which Merriam-Webster defines as not smooth or graceful, marked by sudden movements or changes. Then there's Herb Derp, or Harp Derp, defined at noyowmeme.com. Finally, or not. Perhaps there are more, there's hurdy the musical instrument. The online etymology dictionary suggests this term may have originated from another reduplicated phrase, hurdy meaning, confusion or uproar, dating back to C, 1500. As a speech-language pathologist, I see the phonological process of reduplication in young children's speech, but the entire syllable is reduplicated, without changing the initial consonant to H. Billy says, Barber, when he wants his bottle. The phrases I've commented on above have two things in common, they all have a reduplicative rhyming word starting with H in the first position, and they all have either a or an R-colored vowel as the syllable nucleus. Does anyone know, one, why there are so many reduplicative phrases where the first word starts with H, and two, whether they're examples without R in the syllable nucleus? Is there some reason behind these patterns, or am I just noticing a meaningless pattern? Edit, user Peter Shea commented on some without the R, uh, Hank de Panky, Hocus Pocus, Pickle de Pickle de, Hodge Podge. Then there's also, Helter Skelter, so I suppose the second point in the paragraph above is unneeded. Rather than attempting to explain why so many second-order reduplications begin with H, which I can't, and which Sumlikes answer addresses quite well, I just want to confirm the existence of the phenomenon itself, Using for reference the list of second-order reduplications that appears in Harold Wentworth and Stuart Flexner, Dictionary of American Slang, 1960. This dictionary identifies 94 such terms, of which 23 begin with H. Hanziwanzi, Hankapanki, Hebejeebies, Hell's Bells, Herkimajerkima, Hippodipper, Hocus Pocus, Hodododdy, Haughty Toity, Hokey Pokey, Hologolly, Honkatonk, Y, Hoopdadoop, Hoopadoopa, Hoochie Coochie, Hoover Scoovus, Hotsa Totsi, Huff Duff, Hugga Mugga, Hulla Gully, Humpty Dumpty, Hunky Dunky, and Herda Gurdy. And another four begin with an aspirated WH. Wham Bam, Wing Ding, Whoop De Doo, Op, and Whoopa Doopa. Overall, more than a quarter, 28.7%, of the slang second order reduplications listed in Wentworth and Flexner begin with an H sound. The phenomenon is clearly not random or recent. This reduplicating tendency doesn't carry over with similar force into first-order reduplications, where words beginning with H sounds account for 6 of the 90 words listed, 6.7%. Harbor harbor, ha ha, ho ho, housey housey, hubba hubba, and hush hush. Or third-order reduplications, where such words account for 4 of the 36 words listed, 11.1%. Hot diggity doggity, hot ziggity sack, whimsy whamsy, and whim wham. One noticeable characteristic of the second-order reduplications is that they strongly favor four-syllable constructions over two-syllable, hell's bells, huff duff, three-syllable, hoop de doop, or six-syllable, herkima jerkima, forms. However, this tendency seems reasonably strong in the non-H second-order reduplications, abba dabba, boogie woogie, chilla dilla, ducky wucky, even Stephen, fuddy duddy, etc., too, so it may reflect a broader metrical preference. Other people have noticed this pattern. It doesn't seem to require an slash a slash or an a colored vowel, as you've already concluded. Shanti Nadarijan, in a cross-linguistic study of reduplication, notes two common patterns of partial reduplication with replacement of onset consonants in English words, HC and CW. For HC, Nadarijan mentions the following examples, handy dandy, hoity toity. For ECW, two examples are Bow Wow and Tini Wini, but as others have mentioned in the comments, there are other partially reduplicated words that have other consonant alternations. Interestingly, there also seem to be examples of reduplicated words in Malay that follow this pattern, but I don't know if that's just a coincidence. 
Nadarajan mentions that Hina Dina is Malay for Komenas and Hina Binda is Malay for Pandemonium. Hina Dina seems to be derived from the word Dina poor. Apparently, Neil Stans also studied reduplication in English and noticed this pattern. I found a brief description of his findings on the following webpage, Slang Phonology, by URS Damala. Why it exists? I found the following paper that attempts to explain this pattern. The effects of production and perception. In the English Partial Reduplication, by Sia Kong, 2009, PDF download. Kong argues that partial reduplication is motivated by only one principle, maximize the difference of the perceptual cues. More precisely, rhyme reduplication is motivated by the difference in temporal cues of noise and transition 154 2 in the PDF. I don't fully understand Kang's argument, but he seems to say that the strong aspiration of slash H slash generally enhances a perceptual contrast between the onset of the first and second element of the reduplicated phrase 157 5 in the PDF. He suggests this contrast might be preferred due to something like the obligatory contour principle 164, 12 in the PDF. Kong also lists some similar examples from other languages. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.